hello everyone this is deepika patel and welcome to the vedic mathematics class okay so let's start our today's class and today we will see the four digit additions in the balancing rule okay so let's start with the question one we have 4891992973188514 okay so let's solve this So four and eight is twelve. Drop a ten. We have two here. Two and nine is eleven. Drop a ten. We have one here. One and one is two. Okay. So this is two, and we have ten is one and two. Okay. So this is twenty-two. Next we have. Let me change the color. So one and one is two. Two and two is four, and four and nine is thirteen. Okay. So this is thirteen here. Five and three is eight. Eight and nine will be seventy. So drop a ten. We have seven here. Seven and eight will be fifteen. Drop a ten. We have five here. So this is twenty-five. Okay. And eight and seven. So this is fifteen. We have five here. Five and nine is fourteen. We have four here. And four and four is eight. Okay. So we have twenty-eight here. Now we have to balance all these numbers. So the main part is balancing. So twenty eight, twenty five, thirteen, thirteen, and twenty two. Okay. So two will be as it is. So this is two. This two is add with the three. Then this one is add with the five. This two is add with the eight. And if we have the carry number between all these numbers, so we have to add all. We have to add um, also the carry numbers. Okay, so two and three is five. One and five is six. Two and eight is ten. So we have the carry number. So this is zero, and the carry will be go with the two. So one and two will become three. Okay, so this is the answer. Three zero six and five two. This is the answer. So let's take another example, and with a quite big example. Okay, so we have nine, eight, seven, six, six, five. We have nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, six, seven, eight, five, seven, seven. Nine, seven, eight, eight, five, two, four, three, two, five, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is a quite big addition. So let's solve. So firstly. We will take one by one. So eight and five will be thirteen. Okay. So drop a ten. We have three here. Three and two is five. Five and seven is twelve. So drop a ten. We have two here. Two and five is seven. Seven and six will be thirteen. Okay. So drop a ten. We have three here. So how many times we have three? And this will become thirty-three. Okay. Next. Next we have seven and two is nine. Nine five fourteen. Drop a ten. We have four here. Four and nine will be thirteen. So drop a ten. We have three here. Three and eight will be eleven. Eleven. Drop a ten. We have one here. One and seven will be eight. So we have the last number is eight. And how many times we have? We have three times. So this will become thirty-eight. Okay. Six and three. Nine. Nine and eight. Seventeen. So we have seven here. So seven, seven and fourteen. We have four here, okay. We have four here, and four and seven will be eleven. We have one here. One and eight will be nine, okay. So we have the last number is nine, and we have ten is one and two and three. So we have thirty nine here, okay. Next we have five and four, which is nine. Nine and eight will be seventeen. Drop a ten. We have seven here, and seven and seven is fourteen. Drop a ten. We have four here. 
4 and 6 will be 10. So drop a 10, we have 0 here. 0 and 9 will be 9. Okay. So this is 9 here. And 1, 2 and 3, we have 39. Okay. So again 39. So what you have to do? Now you have to just balance all those numbers. Okay. Because this is the main part. If you practice more and more, so you will become master in this. And this is for you like a play within a few seconds. You can solve all those additions. Okay. So just balance. 3 will be as it is. So this is 3. This 3 will be add with the 8. This 3 with 9. And this 3 with 9. Okay. So if we have carry, so carry also will be adding. Okay. So 3 and 8 will be 11. So we have one here. So one will be the carry. So one and three will be four. Then this four is adding with nine. So 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is three here. And one again with the carry. So three and one is four. Nine and four is 13. So we have three here. And one and three is four. Okay. So we have the answer. Four, three, three, one, three. Okay. So let's take another example. Or let's take a result. If we have the result like 8, 9, 9, 1, 4, 2, 5, 9. So how can we balance them? Like we have 9. 9 will be as it is. 5 and 2 will be 7. Okay. 4 and 1 will be 5. 9 and 9 will be 18. But 18. But we have one carry so one and nine eight will be nine okay so this is how we can balance okay all those numbers so let's take an example of the five digit number like if we have eight two one nine eight okay nine nine four five six seven eight five four one eight 9, 2, 9, 8, 5, 6, 7, 1, 1. Okay. So let's solve this. 1 and 8 is 9. 9, 9, 1, 10. Drop a 10. We have 0 here. 0 plus 6, 6. 6 and 8 will be 14. Okay. So drop a 10 and we have 0, 4 here. Okay, so we have 24 here. Next, 9, 1, 10. So drop a 10, we have 0 here. 0 plus 4, 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9, 9, 18. So we have 8 is the last number and we have 2 tens. So this is 28. 7 and 2, 9. Okay, 9, 5, 14. So this is 4. 4 and 4, 8. 8, 1, 9. So this will become 19. Okay. 6 and 9, 15. Okay, so we have 5 here. 5 and 8 will be 13. So this is 3 here. And 3 and 9 will be 12. So this is 2 here. And 2 and 2 is 4. So we have 34 here. Okay. Next we have 5 and 8. So 5 and 8 will be 13. Okay, so we have 3 here. 3 and 7 will be 10. So we have 0 here. And 0 plus 9, 9, 9 and 8 will be 17. So we have 7 here. So we have the 37 here. Okay. So now balance 37, 34, 19, okay, 28, and 24. Okay. So 4 will be as it is. Okay. 2 and 8 will be 10. So this will become 0 here, the end number. And the carry goes with the 2. So 1 and 2 will be 3. This 3 will be add with 9. So 9 and 3 will be 12. So we have 2 here. And 1 will, will be the carry. So 1 and 1 is 2. This 2 will be add with 4. So 2, 4 is 6. Okay. Then 3 and 7 will be add. So 7, 3, 10. We have 0 here. And 1 and 3 will be 4. So we have the answer. 4, 0, 6, 2, 0, 4. Okay. So this is the answer. Now, 
just practice more and more questions so when you become master in this so you can easily solve all the big lengthy additions okay? by applying all those methods which all those methods which we had learned in our previous classes until today okay so let's take some questions and do at your home okay so 4 8 5 4 9 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 